What's up, my fish tank friends? <clears throat> I'm making another Saturday night video. I did some tank maintenance tonight. <clears throat> I finally added these three swords here. Fortunately, I'm kind of not really feeling them. I don't really like where they're at. I'm not really sure what to do with them. I'm thinking I might add them over here. Maybe move this down a little bit and add them over here. Maybe just one of them. I don't know. They're kind of... Eh. They don't look that hot. <clears throat> I'd like to add some... A plant I've been thinking about trying out lately. I've been keep seeing everywhere. This is the Ludwigia. Supposedly it could it makes a good low-tech plant. I've never had success with it before <clears throat> But uh You know maybe try it out <clears throat> So I think I mentioned in a previous video That I had happened to set up a tank for my dad a 10 gallon tank a little semi planted tank <clears throat> So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him some of my white clouds. Just so he can have a, a bulletproof fish to get started out with. Um, I'll probably give him five of the regular ones. Just because I have too much, too many fish in here as, as it is. I, I, I probably have close to 40 fish in here. So obviously a bit too much for a 33 long. I mean I haven't had any problems though but I know... It's overstocked. Speaking of which, <clears throat> I'm debating. I'm. I know I've mentioned this many, many times, but I'm debating purchasing a new tank. I can't do anything right now, just because my fin finances are kind of screwed up right now. But I'm researching into um, what tank size would be good for me. <clears throat> Cost is everything, I mean, of, of it, honestly. <clears throat> I've been trying to look for um, a stand for a 75-gallon tank. Um, I haven't had much luck. <clears throat> there was one place, one person on Marketplace who had a really nice-looking stand. Unfortunately, they're about three hours away. So that's not really going to do much good. <clears throat> so I did something different tonight for the video. I don't know if anyone can tell, I'm sure, but <clears throat> after my water change, I left the, the lids off for a bit. Just to see what it would look like, and it doesn't really look that much different. I have to keep the lids on, generally, at least like overnight, you know, and, and such when it's not supervised or whatever you'd like to call it because <clears throat> the fish will jump out as many of you know I've lost a lot of my golden white clouds in the past due to jumping and actually I had lids on the tank then well mostly the frustrating part was <clears throat> the fact that I didn't have these little strips here that's where they were jumping out at Other than that, um, yeah, just plan on doing a little rescaping and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm gradually looking for uh, new plants. Like I said, I got these Amazon swords. I mentioned that a while back, but I finally cut them out of the plastic and put them in the tank. They don't look good at all, honestly. Maybe if I moved them around a little bit. Oh, Amazon swords are pretty. Uh, they gotta have a certain look. If anyone's seen some of my older videos, I used to have this really bomb Amazon sword that I had right here in the middle, and it looked sweet as hell. <clears throat> that was a, it was one that had more. See, other leaves more kind of like rounded. This one had more triangular leaves. I'm not sure what the cause of that is. Why they would look different, and probably depending on the environment that they're in. <clears throat> 
but uh, yeah, I'm looking at L Ludwigia. <laughs> um, possibly some water sprite or water wisteria. <clears throat> Just to fill in some of these back areas. Oh, the gold white clouds are looking good. Look at them. I still had to do a little bit more maintenance. I'm just not up to it tonight. I gotta get in here and vacuum out some of the crap that's in here. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Should I get a new tank? Should I upgrade to another tank? I mean, <clears throat> functionality wise, this tank has been no issues. The only thing that I run into that I have issues with is, you know, actually I don't really have issues. But it's not something you should really do, obviously, is overstock your tank. I don't know, maybe I found some kind of method, but I have no signs of issues. I haven't had any fish loss, you know, knock on wood. <laughs> um... I very seldom had fish loss or issues or anything like that. Maybe the plants are working for me. I don't know, because I got so many plants in here. You know? <clears throat> when I was at Petco today, I was looking at the tanks, and uh, <clears throat> so they have next to the... Uh, you know, the, the fish tanks for with fish in them and stuff. They always have these weird kind of like custom sized tanks that they don't sell there. <clears throat> um, they usually have like turtles in them and stuff like that and certain like koi. I throw a little video on here of it, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Um, I, it's such a cool looking tank though. I swear it looked like a 40 long. That's what it looked like. And I really love 40 longs. I think I have to say the 40 long, um, just from an aesthetic wise, I think is my favorite tank. Um, it's not too big, not too small. I really like the 40 long though. I'm halfway tempted to maybe invest in a 40 long in the future. The thing that hangs me up with it, it doesn't make much sense because it's only 7 gallons more. But, I mean, hey, you get a little bit more um, viewing space, you know, a little bit more height. And also, uh, yeah, you get a little bit more water volume. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. But I can only imagine how the, in the past, they're super friggin' expensive to find. You can't find them at big box stores. Um... Usually it's always a special order thing. I was super lucky to find this tank, um, you know, three years ago. <clears throat> that the LFS carried regularly. I love to just do a 55 gallon, but uh, I don't like the height of it. It's too tall. <clears throat> I guess I should rephrase that. I don't mind the height of it, like aesthetic wise, but for maintenance and plant growth and light to depth. Um, for light penetration. It is not a good tank to go with, in my opinion. Which is why I like shorter tanks, like this tank. Or the 40 long. Yeah. <clears throat> Might have to look into that. Um, check in to see how much it would cost for another, uh, for a Sephora 40 long. I'm, I'm sure my LFS could order one. I've seen them before um, from a now defunct LFS, uh, used to, which actually I got this tank at, um, called uh, SeaWorld. 170 friggin' dollars, though. It's like, really? I don't know why 40 longs are so much, but that was ridiculous. Back when I was first getting this tank, um, they had a Marine Land. 
uh, 40 long at the same exact location, and it was 149.99. I was like, "Are you kidding me? Why? Why are these freaking things so much?" But yet, when I got this tank, it was. My, I walked out um, after taxes and all that. I only paid 110 dollars. So. <clears throat> it up close for you I keep getting freaking scratches here I don't know if anyone can see that it's kind of hard to focus on it yeah you can see it that's like inside the tank though so I don't know what the hell is causing that and they they show up and weird random places i don't use anything that would really scratch the glass so i don't know what the heck that's from weird huh there's a, another spot in here where there's a little bit of a uh, scratching too man it's so very dirty so on the tank that's set up for my dad oh Right here, somewhere. Where the heck is that? I can see in real life, I just can't like pinpoint it on the camera. That. I don't know what the heck that is. It's just, I swear it's a scratch, look. Yeah, scratch. But I don't know what it came from. It was just, it's like it was just there one day. I almost don't want to say it's a crack. That would freak me out. Yeah. Sure, because if that was a, cra a crack, you know, there'd be a problem. Yeah, so like I said, speaking of substrate, when I set up the tank for my dad, um, <clears throat> I used Cripsy sand just because it was what I was able to get for sand and I knew it would be easy to clean. I got him the super the super white colored sand, I think it's like Moonlight sand. It actually looks pretty cool. I think it's super bright though because I got him, so it was a 10 gallon um, Marineland tank. <clears throat> I think I mentioned in a previous video I got from the defunct LFS when it went out of business. So I set him up with the 10 gallon tank, um, Phoenix Stingray 2 fixture and then the Caribsy Moonlight Sand so it's bright as hell in there. The the Phoenix Stingray Stingray 2 fixture is actually much brighter than this one. <clears throat> and it has a moonlight which is cool. When the uh, when this fixture burns out I'm actually thinking that's the the fixture I will, I'm going to invest in. Just because I, 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 I like it, you know, it looks good. Uh, I, I think that's part of the reason why I've always had success with growing plants. <coughs> um, as partially due to this light. It's not the most amazing bright light in the world, but evidently it does some good. <coughs> I had beam work, beams work pictures in the past and they're just garbage look terrible never I could never grow anything nothing <clears throat> so yeah like I said I don't know what to do with these swords um, I did actually also get some some of these recently for them specifically some flourish tabs so I know they're very Reliant on nutrients, it seems from my past experience. Some uh, little plant fertilizer pack. It's not bad. It was like only twenty, I think, like twenty bucks for for both of these. Maybe eighteen bucks. Got them from Petco. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean a lot of so a lot of people would disagree with me on that about buying stuff from Petco, you know, supporting 
more LFS. But the thing is that um, sometimes LFS doesn't carry things that I'm looking for, or they they're much higher than things that I could find, you know, at Petco or PetSmart. It's usually Petco. I really don't shop at PetSmart, honestly. <clears throat> um, you know, I don't... Everyone has struggles, and uh, I'm looking to save money where I can, you know. I, I totally support the mom and pop, you know, kind of thing. The LFS, you know, by buying fish and whatever other means, but... Yeah. Um, I do like buying tanks from Petco and bigger box stores, honestly, because um, usually they're they're cheaper. And also the fact that they usually have a good return policy on them. I bought tanks before and just for whatever reason, you know, tried to return tanks. Depends on LFS. Sometimes they'll they'll be real pricks about it, you know. And they'll be like, "No, you're good." I had one place actually tell me, um, "Once you're out the door, that that's it. It's yours. We don't return stuff." It's like, "What the heck?" Even if it wasn't used or had water in it or anything like that. I actually had several tanks in the past from Pet Supplies, probably Petco too. Pet Supplies Plus. They had water in them. You know, I didn't set it up or anything, but it had water in it. It was a water test or whatever. I returned it for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Anything wrong with it? Nope. Took it back. No money back. So. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just rambling here a bit. You know, I got... Basically, this is a place to talk about fish tank related stuff for me because I really don't have any... uh fish tank friends in real life I guess you should say and my wife hates when I talk about fish stuff so she's like you need some fish tank friends yeah I kind of agree but uh when I was at Petco today my son they had a little tank of uh glow light tetris I love glow light tetris <clears throat> glow lights and neons are my favorite tetris it's one reason why I wish I had a bigger, I could get a bigger tank because I could do a ton of white clouds and I could do it, you know, if I wanted, I could do a, another school of, uh, glow lights or something to that respect. <clears throat> It'd be really cool. I don't know. I have com conflicting thoughts on that. So <clears throat> I read somewhere recently that they felt one large school of fish is more effective than two smaller schools it's probably true like <clears throat> if I had about one school in here of 30 or 40 golden white cloud minnows you know that would look pretty pretty darn sweet you gotta admit or even you know like if I had a different kind of like tank set up and had standard white clouds and had 30 or 40 of them that would pretty be pretty sweet gotta admit but uh, I don't know <clears throat> something about having two different schools of fish are kind of cool too but I uh, I like my white clouds you know white clouds let's take a look at this this guy he's looking pretty sweet a darn camera will focus. Probably because of the mode that I'm in. This little guy came in with an arched spine, whatever you like to call it. It was nice of him to send a fish like that to me. Pretty sweet colors on these regulars. Now I know if I did a dark substrate, they would probably they would show up a lot more. But <clears throat> there's no dark sand substrates. I prefer Caribsy 
and not like the kind of like garbage you can like get at Petco and stuff like that. Just or PetSmart. Never been a fan. I've tried it once and uh <clears throat> it just looked like hell. It floated. I actually think I returned it because it was so awful. They had a bunch of stuff on clearance years ago when I was setting up an older tank. <clears throat> I'm curious to what it'd look like to have a tank full of uh, standard white cloud minnows and a darker substrate. That would probably look, probably look awesome. <clears throat> I just wish these guys were a little bit bigger, though. There's some time. It seems like some of them already got a little bit bigger, though. But look out. Look out. Much smaller they are compared to the Goldens. I gotta hand it to that website though, <clears throat> Aquahuna. They're pretty sweet. You know, not really too expensive. And uh, all the everything I've gotten from there has survived, so that's that's pretty sweet. such a bummer like I said I mean this is what's killing me I want to I want to add some more fish to this tank you know if I had a much larger tank I could add some glow light tetras if I wanted you know it might look kind of I don't know it might look messy though who knows <clears throat> Petco does have the 60 breeders on sale right now for $100 which is a pretty sweet price. If I could find like a used stand for it for like a hundred bucks or something, and then get the tank or something like that if I wanted, like for a hundred bucks, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good price. I think I'd need two light fixtures though if I were to uh, just to light it because of the plants. I've had a 40 breeder before, and uh, I think I was having a hard time lighting it, which is one of the reasons why the plants never grew. You know, being that the 40 breeder is 18 inches from front to back, I thought I kind of thought about going to a 40 breeder again, but you're I'm, I don't like giving up my four foot tank, you know. I've had a 40 breeder before, and honestly, this tank is much more enjoyable but there's pros and cons of 40 breeders too you know you get depth it looks cool you know you i could probably stock it a bit more heavily you know there's more surface area um <clears throat> as far as i know 40 breeders are kind of more like you know 47 gallons evidently so you're talking about an almost 50 gallon tank <clears throat> That on top of having more surface area, you know, and more depth from back to front, whatever you like to call it, I could probably stock it pretty, pretty heavily. I mean, not anything ridiculous, but I could, I could stock it, stock that tank. I'm pretty sure probably more, more comfortably than this tank overstocked. Anyways, if that makes any sense. I could, I have around 40 fish in here, 37 fish, whatever. Now I bet in the 40 breeder. I bet they'd be more, I bet the stocking system would be more comfortable at that number in that tank, size tank due to the surface area and the amount of water volume. But that's kind of where it stops at for me because like I said, it's, I don't like it not having a four foot tank. So I consider maybe going to the 40 long, but uh, I don't know. we'll see. See, what I'm gonna come up with. I'm gonna get my finances in order first before I do anything. If I do anything, <clears throat> I know I have a habit sometimes of <clears throat> thinking of an idea and then going through with it and thinking, why the hell did I just do that? Why didn't I just just you know be happy with what it was or what I had, what I had set up, this that you know. 
Because I can see myself doing that. And I go and tear down this tank, and I'm like, why the hell did I just do that? You know? Pretty much kick your own ass, you know, because you said, because you had something that worked. It was working good for you, and then you decided to try to make it better. You know, the grass is not always greener. Like I said, we'll see, though. <clears throat> so, next objectives for this tank are to figure out what to do with these swords. Fill in the backspace a little bit. I gave some of the Rotella to my dad for his tank. Unfortunately, I hate the way this looks now because it looks a little bit more fuller. There was more in this corner here. <clears throat> So in the coming uh, week or so, I'll start. I'm gonna start looking around for uh, Ludwigia and some other uh, plants of that nature. Anyways, this video has rambled on now for about almost a half hour. So I think I'll shut up for a minute and just show the tank. Everyone have a good night. This is about 12 o'clock in the morning, so. Oh, and by the way, some of my, one of my cherry shrimp had babies recently, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Been having baby cherry shrimp all around the tank, and I think another one is buried. So I'm sure I'll see more cherry shrimp in here. Alright, I'm out.